So this is Mark Beneteau from WordPress Academy and uh, what I'm going to demonstrate in this uh, brief video is how to do a Google Apps integration on a domain. Now uh, Google Apps is a free service from Google that allows you to set up a Gmail um, account under your domain name. For example, it allows you to receive email as you at your domain .com. So this is a very compelling uh, email management system for various reasons um, and I'll show you how to kind of get general information about that if you go to wpacademy.tv and then go to the members area and then uh, scroll down towards the bottom where it says free content and click on the link migrating to Google Apps, Gmail and then Sightly Project Management and CRM system. Um, that sort of describes the um, the system and what you know why it's uh, so advantageous but basically it allows you uh, full uh, robust server-side hosted email um, under a very powerful Gmail system that allows you to create filters and has, has a very powerful spam filter um, and, and, and all of those uh, enterprise email features and at the same time you can access um, your email from your client, you know, Microsoft Outlook or whatever, using the iMac protocol. So here's what, how we're going to do this. Um, first of all, uh, you want to log out from all of your uh, uh, Google accounts, and uh, then you're going to go ahead and sign up for a um, free Google account. Okay. And you're going to want to click the Get Started button. And you're going to enter your domain name, which in this case is my client. Make sure that you enter the free Google Apps, not the paid Google Apps. And you're going to want to enter the client's information. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I've entered my client details and uh, we'll continue here. You are going to want to need to enter your phone number. And um, it's going to ask you to create your first administrator account. And you're going to have to choose a password. And fill in the CAPTCHA. God, these Google captures are horrible. And accept the terms and conditions. Okay, so it's going to take you through a long dialogue. You really don't need to do this. You really, there's only three things you need to do, really. First of all, you do have to verify the the domain ownership. So for do this, um, we're going to have to, the easiest way is to um, put the HTML file uh, to the root of the website. So I'm downloading this file. It's called Google something 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 dot HTML. And um, then um, from my, uh, from the control panel, from the hosting control panel for this site, we're just going to um, go into file manager and upload that file to the um, root of the website. So if this is a primary domain on the site, you're going to want to go into public HTML, which is the uh, root web directory, and then uh, choose it on the left column, and then upload the, the Google XXX.html file. So there it is. OK, so that's done. And we can go back to Google Apps and verify. Now, obviously, if it were a uh, add-on domain, uh, you would actually have to put it in the add-on domain subdirectory. Okay, and continue. We've successfully verified. And um, the next thing you have to do, we can go through this dialog here, but basically, we're going to set up Gmail um, for uh, SophiaFerros.com. Go ahead and do next under next and your host is going to be um, other 
it's a cPanel host. All cPanel hosts are, are using a similar process. Uh, if it's now make a note that you have to set up the MX records on the domain, and these have to be set up at the um, hosting account and not at the domain registrar. Okay. Now, if your if your if your site is hosted on GoDaddy, follow the instructions for GoDaddy. But if your site is hosted on Bluehost or HostGator, you're going to have to set these up at your domain registrar. So these are the settings that we want. So we're just going to cut and paste them into the MX um, entry of the cPanel. So this is HostGator. You're going to want to go under MX entry here. So HostGator cPanel. And we're going to select uh, Sophia Furos. And we're going to add a priority, was it a priority one record. And typically, I believe that you have to take out the period, take out the trailing period from the uh, server and make sure you don't have any leading spaces, add new record. Okay, you'll see these records get added below. Then we have a priority five. Let's just close off these other windows. We don't need them anymore. Then we have a priority, another priority five. I'm copying the whole thing less the, the, the trailing period. And this is called the MX entry in, in HostGator. Not all hosts have this. If, if your host doesn't have an MX um, entry, it's going to be a little more, more complicated. Some hosts you're actually going to have to talk to their support directly to have these records put in. You can just point them to this page. I believe that was a priority 10. Yeah, that was a priority 10. Another priority 10. Let's put this one in. Okay, so that's done. And um, here's what we got here. Um, so once that's done, you're going to delete the uh, priority zero record, which is basically the, um, the, the, the your local hosting email manager. So basically, you're, you're, you're removing email management from the from the server. And you're, you're assigning that to Gmail to Google. As soon as you hit this delete button, Gmail is going to start managing this email. Okay. So at this point, we can go ahead and um, uh, there's one more thing to do. We want to add the uh, domain SPF records. And this used to be easy to find. It's gotten a little bit more complicated. So um, just search for Google Apps um, SPF records. And what this does, it's um, sort of a spam control mechanism that um, ensures that um, that tells the world, as it were, that mail from seen as mail from your domain is now going to be coming from Google. This is going to tell the world that um, that Google uh, is a authorized server for your domain name. Okay, so we just basically take that uh, v equals SPF one etc. And we're going to need to go back to our control panel, home. And in this case, you're going to choose Advanced DNS Zone Editor under Domains. And you're going to select sophiaferros.com. Okay, and you're going to see the previous SPF record here. So you can model that. It's right here, sophiaferros.com. So all you have to do is uh, TTL is 14400. We're just copying it over. The type is text. And the text data is the thing that we just copied. And then just add a record. And it's asking us for a name, so um, sophiaferros.com. Add a record. Verify that that is OK. This is down here, sophiaferros.com, 14,400 IN text. Compare it to the old one. And we're going to delete the previous one, because mail is no longer uh, going to be coming from HostGator uh, for this domain. It's only going to be coming from Google, so delete that. 
Okay, so um, she's good to go. Uh, we're going to close off cPanel and we're going to go to the dashboard of the Google Apps account. And down below where it says uh, email, uh, you're going to activate email. And it says changing MX records. Yes, we've done all of that. And I've completed these steps. Okay, so this might take a minute or two, but it is normally um, pretty um, pretty quick. Um, but let's go ahead and try and log in now. Go to gmail.com and enter the primary email for the account. Okay, we're actually we're already logged in here, so that's kind of cool. So this is uh, Sophia's new Gmail. Um, a couple of things that are kind of cool here. Um, well, first of all, you can manage the um, Gmail account, of course, by um, clicking this little gears button on the top right. That's going to take you to the uh, Gmail control panel, mail settings, and you can add um, filters. You can pull pop three accounts from other systems. You can create forwarders. Um, I'm probably going to do another uh, video on um, uh, a, a Gmail because it's a very powerful email management system. The other thing you could do is under manage this domain here. That's your Google Apps dashboard. Um, so you can create what's called an email alias. So go under organizations and users. And um, if you go under Sophia Feroz, you can um, add what's called an email alias at a, or a nickname, I guess, that is going to basically um, also uh, receive email on this domain. And then you can filter that, e uh, that email as you can put a, an email alias called a nickname called info at sophiafrost.com. And you could use that for your low priority email, like your mailing list. You can, you can filter it uh, into a new Gmail folder. Um, the other thing you could do um, that's very uh, powerful if you go under the Google Apps Marketplace. So that would be Shop the Marketplace here. You can add a wide range of uh, very powerful and mostly free uh, Google Apps application to this email including the one that we recommend which is called Insightly. It's a very it's a very nice uh, CRM um, and um, uh, you know, contact management and, and uh, in information management system. So this is right, uh, right here. It's called Insightly, insight.ly. Okay, good luck.